We're in the eighth grade, Mr. Sapple's class. John was, his hair was about this tall. He was about this wet. This class was about 75% English, 25% anarchy. It was fun. Uh, we didn't really learn much, but the kids were always constantly running around. Uh, one day, the teacher was yelling, Mr. Sapple, there's about five of us in there. He's yelling, screaming, we're getting in trouble. Little little John Duquette to the left of me. He has his back, and John at the time loved Sports Illustrated. Like, it was all over his wall, hit every single player, everywhere. He loved Sports Illustrated. So we're all going nuts, we're all going nuts. And this is my Go first memory of John Duquette. He goes into his back, pulls out a magazine. Thank God it wasn't one of those magazines. <laughs> but it was a Sports Illustrated. And we're all going nuts, we're all going nuts, and he just pulls out a centerfold. <laughs> Not one of those centerfolds. He pulls out an 800 pound sumo wrestler named Meat Bomb. <laughs> Yoko Zuna, Meat Bomb. So we're all going nuts. John is just like doing this. <laughs> with Meat Bomb. And I'm like this. John's to my left. And, and I'm doing this. <laughs> and I'm doing this again. And John's crying out, Meat Bomb! Meat Bomb! Meat Bomb! <laughs> that was my first memory of John Duquette. And I look over, and I remember this very, very clearly. The very first memory ever, ever of John Duquette. I look over, and I'm, I'm like, that's either the coolest or craziest kid I've ever seen. <laughs> Funny little story though, last night, I was actually, it was going to be about two weeks ago, but we were together last night, we are all hanging out, all of us, and I'm doing this, and once again, I'm doing this, John still loves me, I'm doing this, and once again, last night, I'm like, that's either the coolest or craziest kid I've ever seen. Fast forward, fast forward through all the Super Tecmo Bowl, through all... <laughs> the wiffle ball games, the graduations, through Apple Cups, and it comes down to three things in my opinion. It comes down to family, it come down, comes down to friends, and it comes down to that perfect person who makes you so, so happy. John obviously had the family. Duquette, raise your hand. <laughs> John's obviously had the friends. Friends, raise your hand. But John hadn't found that special someone. John would, tr in the meantime, John's been running races. He's been running up to Tibet. He's been swimming the deep, deep seas. He's been, oh, whatever, swimming. That's what he likes to do. <laughs> and then took some more. But that's fine. That's really not our thing. Good. But John would trade all, everything, every, every Apple Cup, every Super Taco Bowl, every race, every triathlon to meet that special person. And today, we're celebrating John meeting that special person, which is fantastic. <laughs> I'm not quite done yet, but hopefully you'll applause again, that would be great. Uh, but I want to let John, I mean, I speak, it's not just me up here, I speak for all of John's family, all of Jody's family, all of Jody's friends, all of John's friends, they're getting married today, which is such such a special thing. But they're not alone when they get, when they got married today. They have all their family, all their friends, and through all the good times, through all the bad times, we will always be there, and for, it will be there for you all the times in between. It really means a lot. So this toast is for a little bit of family, because this day, after all, is dedicated to John and Jody. It's a little bit of family. It's a little bit of friends. This toast is mainly for John and Jody waking up every single morning and looking across at each other and cherishing each other and loving each other and realizing just how lucky they are to have each other and let that put a little smile on their face. And then after that, they can save the environment and go ride their bike. <laughs> so, here's to John and Jody Duquette. Cheers. You didn't hit my glass. Pretty good, Rush. Hi, I'm Tina. Hi, hi. 
So I am one of Jody's uh, couple of best friends from college, and uh, Jody and Heidi and I were all uh, tri Delta together. <laughs> Can I help you? Help you? Help you? Yeah. That's <laughs> girls by any means. I think we enjoyed um, running and working out and riding bikes and getting dirty more than the rest of the girls. And uh, that seemed to continue in their lives. <coughs> um, I saw more bruises on, Judy, on Jody's leg than I care to remember. So <coughs> I was there when the time when she almost got run over by a semi for the train for the STP and several other uh, when she uh, jumped out of an airplane with a fortunately with a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched her do a lot of adventures. I will say though that this is the calmest I've ever seen Jody in a long time. <laughs> so I have to say that I know that this is the best decision she's made. So I just want to raise a toast to you both, John and Jody, <laughs> and wish you long and happy life together. I love you, Jody. Right. <laughs> We thank you both.